Michelle and Christian Lestats in the building. Got a little bit more here. PSA by way of Spotlight TV. Let them have it. All right, everybody, I want to talk about cop watching, you know. You don't have to be officially a part of a program just to go cop watching. All you need to do is have some sort of recording device, not just audio, but, like, you need to definitely have a camcorder or cell phone. Uh, make sure they see that you're recording if you can pick up their conversation because you don't want them to say you're wiretapping them. Also, if you're recording the cops with a camcorder, do not stand, like, in the street or say like stand on someone's public, uh, uh, private property. Now remember, you could tape on public property, but not private property, meaning if you're like taping a situation that has to do with someone's house, tape from the sidewalk, do not tape on the person's front lawn. But if you do know the people and they, you know, you're friends with them, then yeah, you can if you like actually have permission. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But remember, like don't, don't, don't shout out at them, like even if they sign a, shine a spotlight in your face, like what happened to me about two weeks ago in front of 814, I shout out the spotlight for the spotlight, you know, spotlight for the spotlight TV, uh -huh. which is, you know, like, like I was being as immature as they were trying to fit like, light in my face, but because I shouted that, they were then able to, like, threaten me with arrest. Mm -hmm. So, like, just be quiet, you know, uh, you know, uh, ask for a badge number if you want, uh, but mostly just tape them, you know, and they, they can't threaten you, and if they threaten you, uh, make sure you tape that and put it on YouTube right away. Right. Because <laughs> those are illegal threats. At the end of the day, if they're not doing anything that they need to hide, yeah, they definitely. should have no problem with like, that. I, I, like, why hide it? I mean, right. unless I mean, like they got something to hide or they don't want their girlfriends at the bar knowing that they're a cop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe girls don't like cops. Who knows? Another thing I like is when, when there's county people working as city police. It should be city people being city police. Say that one more time and see what I'm Another thing people should realize is these are county people working, uh, living in Gerard, Fairview, Harbor Creek, Lawrence Park, being city police. Why is that? Why is it not city people mm -hmm. being city police? Because they are more familiar with the area and the people and, and the, I would think the community would trust these people more because they see them more often mm -hmm. rather than cousins being from Gerard and, and mm -hmm. Spring, yeah. Springfield, you know, because they don't understand eerie life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they want to come up in here and be the, uh, the you know, a super cop, especially these rookies who think they have something to show. Mm -hmm. Because they know they don't have to go to bed in Erie. They can go to Springfield or Gerard and not right. have to worry about it. That's why they do that. So why is it? You know, we, you know, step up, go to city council and ask, why is that? I know it's uh, equal opportunity, but mm -hmm. why is there not more people from Erie living and dealing with the people who they mm -hmm. deal with every day? Can't be that equal opportunity, right? Well, I do have an idea. I, I do think that, well, yeah, that's a good idea. I think that people in the city ought to have the chance to vote their police in. Like, you know how you vote the politician in? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, people should, every once a year or every other three years, they sit together and they vote for which cop they want to police them. And mm -hmm. like you said, like, the, the cops should not be from another part of town if they're police in this town. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think that like, the police should actually be living in that part of town. Oh, yeah. Like definitely. that neighborhood. If you want to police the neighborhood, you be from that neighborhood, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like a councilman, city council, or county council, you know? If, if you're from county council, you can't be from Warren. You can't be from right. Meadville. Right. You have to be in a district. So why is it different for the city? You know, if you're from city council, you have to live in a city, you know? So why is it different for, for police? If you're, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're a county, if you're for the county like the sheriff's department, you are from Erie County. Mm -hmm. So why is it not Erie police? Why aren't Erie police living in Erie? A good question to ask. Things to think about. Why is it not like that? Why is it different? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that don't know. definitely is something to think about. Definitely. I mean, they have no right coming in. You know, well, the problem is, like, someone from Fairview is not going to understand, like, the lifestyle, the culture that, like, the Lower East Side has, or the exactly. East Side at all, or right. even, even, like, the West Side. If they, if they don't even know Erie. They don't know, like, you know, they're, they're from, like, the Sticks and Fairview, you know? Mm. It's a totally different city. Like, someone like someone from Erie is not going to totally understand going to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and someone from Pittsburgh ain't going to go and be able to, like, understand what's going on in Detroit. So, so that's why you have to keep it, you know, the, the neighborhoods to the neighborhoods, you know? Erie oh, yeah. needs to wake up and, and, and see these things, you know? Oh, yeah. Just because you see it, you know, you got to think about these things. But um, movements on it, too. You know, but... You know, these are why these things are saying, well, we can't get minorities and this and that in there. Well, you could get minorities and other people in there if people from out of town were taking the jobs. Mm-hmm, exactly. But like I said, if you're a county sheriff, you live in this county. 
why is it not? If you're a city police, you should live in Erie, mm -hmm. just like any political office. Well, we're going to have to make a change mm -hmm. on that. Hey, so you know, you know, get together with the people in your community, sit down, draft out a petition, sit down, you know, ask around, see who you can sit down with and actually, you know, have a serious conversation because, uh, yeah, we need a That's what the people think that. out there, yeah. you know, what the people out there yeah. land think about it, you Yeah, know? what do you think about it? Call us, call us up at 459-9374 with your opinions. Hey, let me show my website. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Spotlight TV. Let me know TV. Shine it. <laughs> Spotlight TV you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, YouTube.com slash Eerie Parties, you know, give your opinion, get a hold of me, you know. Well, you can find the Stanky Leg remix of Officer Cousins and his tirade. <laughs> this is Kristen Lestat, motherfuckers.